Crystal Old Homes actually started out two different ways. Um, for me, in 2004, I'd had a couple of careers prior to being a home builder, but my father was a home builder and I wanted to give it a try. So I started Longleaf Homes in 2004 and went and built a couple of uh, spec houses in the Highland Lakes neighborhood of Birmingham and kind of cut my teeth uh, the old fashioned way and uh, learned the business um, myself and went from there. And I started out, uh, graduated straight from college, went straight into home building. My dad had a custom home building company and I went to work for him for a couple years. And after that, I started uh, Fireside Homes. We partnered up as Harris Old Homes in 2008. And the reason we did that was because building in Ballantrae, uh, we always call it dating before we got married. We uh, learned to, we learned how the other one operated. And we saw that we each had uh, a good work ethic and the same vision for what we wanted to do with the home building company. And ultimately, we realized that we could do more together than we could separate. So we offer uh, more of a custom home building experience for a builder that does a little bit more volume. And so we, so far, it's worked really, really well. We have a great team. We uh, work really well together every day. I love working with customers and to allowing them to create uh, their dream home. We love to be able to, to go in and, and help them pick out their selections and create the house that they've always imagined so that they can make the memories and, and that really uh, is our inspiration. I, I like it honestly because it's something different every day. Uh, every day I come in, I, I may have an agenda but usually that agenda gets changed by about 9 a.m. and it turns into something else. So I never had the same day uh, again and again. It's always different but always fun. The mission of Harris Doyle Homes is to exceed people's expectations every day and we like to do that in terms of design, amenities, and customer service after the sale. So we focus on those three factors every single day and we try to improve our processes to make the customer experience the best it can possibly be. We don't like to tell purchasers no. We like to let them, if they have an idea, we like to let them bring it in and we try our best to uh, uh, figure out a way to use it in their house. And uh, we learn, honestly, we learn as much from our customers as they learn from us. My father always treated both his customers and his subcontractors and vendors with a lot of respect and fairness. And he was known for that. And I saw him treat people that way all when I was growing up and heard people tell me about how they felt that they were treated. And um, they always respected him for that. And I've tried to carry that into my own business and try and treat our subcontractors, vendors, and customers the exact same way that he did. I think the future of Harris School Homes involves creating better processes and a better customer experience, constantly finding quality locations where we can develop communities uh, more than just build houses. We want to develop the entire community and, and create a lifestyle for our customers. And so we're constantly striving to do that in a better way uh, and be more creative and on the leading edge of that. We do realize that this is also one of the biggest investments that the purchaser makes, both monetarily and sentiment, uh, sentimentally. They're putting a lot of um, the finances into it, plus they're also putting a lot of their heart into it. And we really strive to do the best we can at it. It's um, as simple as that.